After I took the sphere from the place, I looked around the area and all the grass around it was dried up. It only weighed 2 kilos when the sphere was handed to me. Today, it weighs 10 kilos. When scanning the surface of the sphere, the engravings do not appear so that we can scan them. What is that implying? There is a theory that we are working on. The University of Georgia was able to carbonate resin from the Bugo sphere, and it was dated at 12,560 years old. On March 17, 2025, in Bugger, Colombia, at exactly 2.47 p.m., a metallic sphere tore through power lines and slammed into a farmer's field. The impact should have shattered it, should have left dents, cracks, or at least scratches, but when investigators arrived, they found perfection. A flawless orb with no seams, no welds, and no joints, just smooth metal that shouldn't exist. Carved into its surface were strange symbols that made linguists step back in disbelief. These weren't hieroglyphs, nor cuneiform, nor any language known to humankind. For months, the sphere sat in laboratories, while scientists threw every possible test at it. X-rays revealed three concentric shells nested inside each other like Russian dolls, with nine microspheres floating precisely between the layers. At the core was a tiny chip that defied every attempt to identify it. Then someone had an idea that changed everything. What if we stopped thinking like humans? What if we let quantum AI take a shot? Quantum computers don't think in ones and zeros like traditional machines. They think in probabilities and superpositions, in patterns that exist everywhere at once until they collapse into a single answer. When researchers at MIT's quantum lab fed those mysterious engravings into their latest quantum system, something impossible happened. The symbols weren't random, they were equations. Not just any equations, but mathematical blueprints matching the fundamental constants of our universe, the fine structure constant that binds atoms, and the golden ratio that nature uses to build everything from galaxies to seashells. These mathematical fingerprints shouldn't exist on a sphere that crashed in a Columbian field. Yet they did. This isn't science fiction anymore. It's unfolding in real time. Quantum AI didn't merely decode the symbols. It revealed something that makes even the most hardened physicists uneasy. Whoever made this sphere understood reality at a level humanity has only begun to imagine. According to sources inside MIT's quantum research lab, the breakthrough came at 3 a.m. on a Tuesday. The team had been stuck for weeks. Classical computers found nothing. Pattern recognition failed. Even neural networks trained on every ancient script came up empty. Then someone made a radical suggestion feed the symbols into IBM's Condor processor, link it with Google's Sycamore Quantum Cloud, and let the machines think in ways we can't. The difference is staggering. Your laptop checks one password at a time. A quantum computer checks billions simultaneously, existing in every possible state until it collapses on the correct answer. Imagine looking for one specific grain of sand on a beach. Classical computing would examine each grain, one by one. Quantum computing becomes the entire beach at once, instantly knowing which grain you want. The sphere's glyphs went into the quantum lattice at midnight, and by 3 a.m., patterns began to emerge, mathematical constants hidden in plain sight. The first sequence matched Planck's constant down to 15 decimal places, the number that defines quantum mechanics itself. The second revealed golden ratio spirals, the same pattern seen in hurricanes, galaxies, and DNA. Nature's favorite number, carved into alien metal. Over 72 hours, the quantum processors churned through endless possibilities, revealing one universal constant after another, the speed of light, the gravitational constant, the very numbers that hold reality together. The sphere wasn't speaking in words, it was speaking in the language of the universe itself. And here's where it gets even more disturbing. These weren't approximations, they were exact, more precise than our best measurements. Whoever made this sphere knew physics better than we do, but that was only the beginning. The second layer of symbols transformed from numbers into frequencies, resonance patterns that stopped the research team cold. They had seen these before. In 2015, LIGO detected similar patterns, gravitational waves from colliding black holes. The engravings on the sphere matched those frequency signatures perfectly, not similar, identical. How could a metal sphere found in Colombia contain the sound of black holes colliding a billion years ago? Layer 3 was even stranger. The patterns shifted into orbital resonances, 
Jupiter's moons dancing in perfect mathematical harmony, Saturn's rings maintaining their gaps through gravitational rhythm, even exoplanets discovered just last year following the same ratios. Some physicists began calling it a cosmic Rosetta Stone, others believed it was something more. Dr. Sarah Chen from Caltech put it bluntly, if you wanted to store the operating system of space-time, this is how you do it. Think about that for a second. Not a message, not instructions, but the actual mathematical architecture of reality. The source code of existence, compressed into symbols on a metal sphere. That's not just technology, that's theology. We build computers that process information. This sphere might be information, pure mathematics made physical. When scientists modeled how the three shells interacted with those frequencies, the results sent chills through the lab. The sphere didn't behave like an object. It behaved like a resonance amplifier, a cosmic tuning fork. Feed it the right frequency, and it would sing back the structure of space itself. But when they decided to test it, what happened next would shake physics to its core. Every physicist knows Einstein's quote, God doesn't play dice with the universe. But maybe God doesn't need dice when the rules are already written. And maybe, just maybe, we're looking at the rule book, because when the team activated the resonance test, the sphere didn't just respond, it did something that violated three known laws of physics. Quantum simulations revealed that the three nested shells weren't just sitting there. In the model, they generated a field, an electromagnetic bubble that bent light around itself. DARPA has been chasing this for years under the name metamaterial cloaking, a concept that routes photons around an object like water around a stone. But the sphere's design was decades ahead when researchers simulated how electromagnetic waves interacted with its aluminum-like layers. Light didn't simply bend, it spiraled, forming interference patterns that shouldn't exist in any known material. Dr. Michael Torres from MIT's Materials Lab ran the simulation 12 times and every time the results were identical. The layering acted like a photonic processor. It was computing with light itself. Even the nine microspheres floating between the layers weren't random. They were positioned at precise mathematical intervals following the golden ratio and Fibonacci sequence. When fed with any frequency, these microspheres resonated in standing waves, amplifying specific harmonics, like a quantum tuning fork that remembers every note it has ever heard. Remember those viral videos about Sanskrit chants making the sphere vibrate? The simulation suggests it's possible, not magic, but physics. Certain frequencies could trigger resonance cascades through the nested structure, turning the sphere into both receiver and transmitter. Imagine a hard drive that doesn't store files but stores magnetic, gravitational and electric fields. That's what these simulations hint the sphere might be capable of. The most unsettling result came from Caltech's team. They modeled what would happen if the sphere were fed its own encoded frequencies, the ones carved on its surface. The virtual model didn't just resonate, it generated a localized distortion in space-time itself. Tiny, microscopic, but measurable. That's not supposed to be possible with aluminum and microspheres. Halfway through our investigation, and we've barely scratched the surface. The sphere isn't just an object, it might be a key a tuning fork for reality, a data capsule that stores physics instead of pictures. But next, we'll show you why some researchers think those symbols aren't just equations, they're coordinates, a star map pointing to places humanity has never been. The breakthrough came when someone stopped looking at the symbols as language. Dr. Lisa Park from Harvard's astrophysics department tried something different. She overlaid the glyph patterns onto star maps not Earth's night sky, but deep space, Andromeda, the Magellanic clouds, globular clusters older than our sun. The match was instant. Three symbol sequences aligned perfectly with radio burst sources, FRB 2022-0319-RB and 2021-0807, coordinates marking the loudest cosmic screams we've ever detected. But here's what made everyone nervous. One pattern matched a source we haven't catalogued yet, a position in space where nothing visible exists, just empty darkness between Andromeda and Triangulum. The quantum AI suggests it's not empty. Something's there, waiting. Think about what we did with Voyager's golden record. We carved our address into metal, music, math, DNA sequences, saying, this is humanity. 
This is where we live. What if this sphere is the same thing, but not from here, from there? A probe carrying not just information, but navigation. The ultimate message in a bottle, with a return address written in gravitational frequencies. Look at this overlay on your screen. These aren't letters, they're positions. Stellar coordinates, galactic GPS, but not for Earth navigation. This is deep space positioning, mapping places our telescopes barely reach. The patterns even mark pulsars, nature's most precise clocks. Navigate by pulsars, and you can find your way across an entire galaxy. Any civilization advanced enough to build this would know that. Jose Velasquez, the lead investigator, said something that stuck with everyone. We keep looking for radio signals from aliens. What if they don't use radio? What if they send spheres? Voyager will drift for 40,000 years before it reaches another star. This sphere made it here, intact, functional, still broadcasting its code to anyone smart enough to decode it. The ancient parallels are haunting. Egyptian priests wrote about eggs of the gods falling from heaven. Sumerian texts describe divine spheres, containing the knowledge of creation. Were they describing objects like this? And if there's one sphere, logic says there should be more. The rumor started last month. A collector in Japan claims to have a smaller orb. Similar symbols, different patterns. No one's confirmed it yet, but whispers inside NASA suggest they're taking it seriously. Very seriously. Because if these spheres are probes, they're not random. They're targeted. And Earth wasn't found by accident. The whispers began in underground collector forums. Tokyo, July 2025. A private auction house allegedly catalogued a second sphere, smaller, 8 inches in diameter, instead of 12. Different symbols, but the same impossible construction. The collector won't go public, but leaked photos show familiar patterns, nested shells, no seams, and engravings that hurt to look at because your brain knows they shouldn't exist. Here's why this matters. If there's two, there's probably more. And if they're scattered across Earth, someone or something, place them deliberately. Think about what these spheres could contain. Not just messages or technologies, but physics we haven't even discovered. The kind of knowledge that could leap a civilization forward by centuries. Dr. Chen from Caltech spelled it out clearly. The standard model of physics has holes. Dark matter, dark energy, quantum gravity. These spheres might contain the missing pieces. Imagine unlocking even 10% of this. Energy grids that pull power from quantum vacuum fluctuations. Propulsion that bends space instead of burning fuel. Medical scanners that read probability waves instead of tissue. This isn't fantasy. The math on the sphere already shows constants more precise than our best instruments can measure. Think about this, really think about it. If we could decode even a fraction of this technology, everything changes. Energy crisis, gone. Space travel, revolutionized. Medical imaging that detects disease before symptoms appear, possible. That's why scientists are being careful. And that's why they're terrified of missing something huge. The weight anomaly alone breaks our understanding. 16 pounds became 22. No material absorbed, no chemical reaction, just mass appearing from nowhere. One theory suggests the sphere interfaces with zero point energy fields, literally pulling weight from quantum foam. If that's true, we're not looking at a message. We're looking at a device, one that taps into the fundamental machinery of space-time itself. This isn't just some mystery in a Columbian field anymore. This could be humanity's first contact with a Type II civilization, the kind that harnesses entire stars. But before you think we're making this up, let's strip away speculation and look at what we know for certain. March 17th, 2025, Booger, Columbia. Power lines snap. A metallic object plummets into Juan Velasco's field. When he approaches, the grass is dead for 30 feet in every direction. Not burned, desiccated, like something sucked every drop of moisture out. The sphere measures 30 centimeters across. 12 inches of impossibility. X-ray analysis confirmed by three independent labs. Three concentric aluminum shells, 95% pure, the remaining 5%. Trace elements that don't match any known alloy. Between the shells, nine microspheres float in perfect suspension. No wires, no magnets, they just hang there. At the dead center, a chip, maybe silicon, maybe something else. 
too small to extract without destroying the entire structure. Weight measurements came from different scales on different days. Day 1, 16 pounds. Day 7, 20. Day 14, 22. No explanation. Physics says mass doesn't just appear. The sphere says physics is wrong. Jose Velasquez leads the Mexican investigation team. He's handled meteorites for 20 years. His quote, I've never seen anything like this, ever. Julia Mossbridge from UC San Diego wants Harvard's Galileo project involved. She's not saying it's alien. She's saying it needs serious study, real science, not YouTube speculation. The Sanskrit chant videos remain unverified, but the Colombian farmer swears the sphere hummed when his daughter sang near it. Frequency 432 hertz. The same frequency some musicians call cosmic. Think of it like this. You find a smartphone case with no phone inside, except the case can bend light, generate fields and gain weight by itself. That's our reality now. Mexican scientists have the sphere. NASA requested samples. Three universities want to study it. Everyone's being cautious, because if this is real technology, whoever understands it first changes the world. Or maybe the world's already changing. Maybe we just found the instruction manual. So where does that leave humanity? Standing at the edge of the biggest discovery in history or chasing shadows and coincidence? Let's step back and look at what we're really dealing with here. A metal sphere crashes in Colombia. No seams, no welds. Three impossible shells that shouldn't exist. It gains weight without adding mass. 16 pounds becomes 22. Physics can't explain it. Dead vegetation for 30 feet. No radiation, no chemicals. Just complete cellular dehydration in a perfect circle. Symbols that no human language expert can read. Patterns that don't match any alphabet we've ever created. Then quantum AI cracks the code and everything changes. The engravings aren't words, they're universal constants. Planck's constant, the golden ratio, the fine structure constant that holds atoms together. Precision beyond our best measurements. Deeper layers reveal gravitational wave signatures, black holes colliding, pulsars spinning, and coordinates pointing to empty space where something might be waiting. The simulation says it's a resonance amplifier a device that could bend electromagnetic fields, store gravitational signatures, and interface with space-time itself. Quantum AI has revealed something that looks godlike, not because it's divine, but because it contains the operating manual for reality, the mathematical blueprints that build galaxies, the frequencies that collapse probability into matter, the deepest code of existence carved into metal we can't reproduce. Think about what this means, Either someone on Earth built an impossible object with fake alien writing as the most elaborate hoax in history, or we're holding proof that we're not alone, and whoever's out there understands physics at a level that makes our science look like cave paintings. Jose Velasquez has studied space rocks for decades. He says this isn't natural. Julia Mossbridge from UC San Diego wants every test possible. She knows the implications. NASA requested samples but won't say why three universities are fighting for access, and somewhere in Japan a second sphere might be sitting in a vault, waiting. Is this a probe? Checking if Earth has intelligent life? The fact that we decoded it might be the test. Is it a data capsule? A gift of knowledge from a civilization trying to uplift others? Or is it something else? A beacon? A key? A warning? The quantum computers gave us the what? Universal constants, gravitational signatures, cosmic coordinates, but they can't tell us why. Why Earth? Why now? Why encode reality's source code in a sphere? What do you think this really is? Comment below. Your theory might be the one that cracks this wide open, because thousands of minds are better than a few scientists in a lab. We're either witnessing the greatest discovery in human history, or the most elaborate mystery ever created. Subscribe now, hit the notification bell, because when the second sphere surfaces, and our sources say it will, you'll hear it here first. The universe just handed us a puzzle. The question isn't whether we'll solve it. The question is whether we're ready for the answer, because some doors once opened can't be closed.